Hello, I'm in my backyard with my new still. I got a nice Lowe's bucket. And I got my little uh about for little cup for about 10 milliliters. I'll go ahead and drain off, which is the heads. You can't drink, and then I got my cup right there to ready to do my body. And then I'll have another cup for my tails. But I picked this up on sale half price at a thrift store. And I drilled a hole in the top so I can put my cork in there and my 3 inch tubing. And I've got my thermometer. And it reads 140 now. And I've been doing this for about 20 minutes, so it's taking a little bit of time to get up to 140. Can you see that? I'm waiting for it to get to about 170 so I could uh, turn it down. And then I should be creating steam through that 10 foot coil which will be coming out through the bottom okay, I'm not too concerned about the grippage there because I got a grip stop device there sort of so hopefully when the water hits that it'll drip down behind the cup any leakage coming from the ice but it is on my barbecue there's my tail cup for my tails and I'm using some uh splash wine that my uh, owner of the restaurant I work at gave me has six bottles of it it's about almost 13 percent alcohol by volume so let's see what we get all right we'll get back to you once it gets up to temperature okay we're back and uh, let's see I'm getting close to about 170 and you can see right there 170 you can see that clearly so that means we should start dripping pretty soon and it's been, I don't know, a total of about 35 minutes, 40 minutes for this thing to start working. And I uh, hope it works. It should. It should start producing here pretty soon. I'm feeling the heat on this tube. And it's too hot to the touch that far off. But it's cooling up right up here. So I'm thinking I'm need to get some heat over here before it actually starts dripping down. So um, we'll check back in a couple more minutes and see if this thing starts dripping. Right now we got nothing, but we still got about five more degrees to go. Oh, right about now it should be going because it's almost 180 already. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down once I get to about 180 and I start seeing some drip. And I'm gonna try and keep it there before 190 because so I guess then at 190 you're not doing it very good you should only keep it about 170 to 185 or something like that well, it's a process so we'll see where it goes okay we're back again and then we're about 180 190 degrees 185 degrees it's right where we want to be and the thing's dripping it's plopping it out so and I've got, I don't know, about two milliliters. I need to get a little bit more out of here. Let's see here. Let's see what's it feel like on here. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot all the way down to here. So it's got to be dripping up. It's just holding it back. Let's see here. Maybe if I can give it a tilt a little bit. Yeah, I can see it building up right there. See, there it goes. I'm losing a lot. So I'm going to do a little bit of a... See how it just blurted out, blurted out, blurted out? I don't want to be wasting all that, so I'm going to... Try and get some sort of a downpour on that, which I get a little pliers in there and bend her down. And we'll get some drips going. All right. Okay, I gave it a little bit more tilt on the back side with that wrench there. And it's starting to get a good drip. And you want a good two, two drips per second. As you can see, I'm not quite there yet. I think I will 
once it keeps building up and pushing it out. And then I've got the water draining down here, so I guess my drip protector wasn't doing too good, but I can see that it's just dripping straight out. So now we got some good drip. So we're right at the right temperature, which is right about 190. 190 there so maybe it's because of my altitude we're in the high desert area here so it might take a little bit more but I'm about so I got about see gallon in there of water if you want 10 milliliters out every gallon so I'm about 10 milliliters now so I'm gonna start working on the good stuff okay so we're at we got the 10 milliliters out of the way actually it was more like about 30 milliliters be safe of uh, the acetone and uh, the bad stuff that'll make you blind if you drink and our temperature is holding steady at about 190 okay this is hot to the touch all the way to the ice so I know there's a buildup back in there because my coils kind of takes an uphill slope um, before it hits the end so I'm gonna add a little bit of ice water to see if maybe I can get that a little bit colder in the pipe and uh, see if that helps because if I lift it up a little bit, that's every once in a while I'll get a good pour. You know, so I'm just building up. But you can see it's slowly dripping. We've got two drips about every second there. One, two, one, two, one. You can hear it bubbling in there like it's melting the ice, doing something. And I've got a good runoff of water coming out of the hole down the bucket instead of actually under the pipe and dripping into the cup so I'm not getting any water in there so that's a plus but I'm starting to get some build up here and uh, we'll watch it go see how it gets a steady stream after a minute this means I got a curve in my pipe probably that's sitting it up so every once in a while it'll spill over that edge once that retention gets out of the way and starts to pour but I'm happy and see how this works it's been about an hour in the making of uh, starting it from just regular room temperature wine into here with the heat now on low okay which you can't really see that well but I'm happy let's see we'll check back after we get some booze okay I've created a stop drip because I added water to it to help cool it down a little bit more and so what I did was I put a rubber band against there and some duct tape I know I'll have to glue all that better, but I got my drip separated really nicely. So as you can see it pouring behind my jar. And then the drip's going into the jar. And there's no water running down the pipe. You can see that right there. Okay. But we're getting a little bit. Look at that. We got moonshine there, baby, because you can taste it. Oh baby. It's got some heat. It's tasty. All right, it's working. And our temperature is still at 190. So that's our operating temperature, I guess, for this altitude. And I might need to get some more ice, I don't know. But, all right. Okay, it's getting a little bit later now. I've already filled up uh, half of a mason jar. And uh, my temperature got over 200, so I'm about in my tails right now, so I changed jars. And I'm going to go ahead and run this off until it's done and let the tails go and boy that stuff's pretty strong in there. I'm going to give it a flash test a little bit later and see how see how it is. But um, basically five bottles of wine can, comes to almost a gallon and it gave me a half of a mason jar full of booze which is probably about 120 proof I'd say. I'll, I'll test it with my uh, meter that I have a little bit later. But that's it for now. Um, Y'all have a great day. Beautiful night out here. You know, don't get much better than this. Yep. Nice big tree. But, there we go.
Take her easy.